Well, hey there, folks. Charlie with Typewriter Justice here, and that is not a typewriter. Uh, this monstrosity <laughs> is an Olivetti adding machine complete with leaf because it's in my garage. Com adding machine that uh, my buddy Pete Orta greased me with a while back. And Pete, if you're watching this video, damn it, I miss you. And I can't wait to make it out into your neck of the woods. Um, and I still have this effing thing. Um, and I'm making good use of it. I stole a screw off it the other day. Right there. I stole that screw the other day. And it worked perfectly. Um, so, you know. Thanks. Um, <laughs> anyway. What I'm going to show you is a, uh, a method to remove screws that don't want to come out any other way. And this is if you get one that cams out or strips as you're trying to get it out of there. And you, you find yourself at a loss for what to do. Well, f well, first off, you might notice this one has a little pink stuff around it. And that is this. This is Croil. Specifically Aero Croil. It's made by Kano Labs. Kano Industries. Yeah, Kano Labs. And uh, it's the best damn penetrating oil I've ever found in my life. Um, and and whatever. I mean, you know, stick some of that on there and give it a little bit of time to think about what it's done. And that will make everything go easier. So, to your screw, though. You know, first off, get your penetrating oil on there. And, and Croil is great. Doesn't really matter what. You know, PB Blaster, fucking Liquid Wrench, whatever. Uh, you know, there's there's half a dozen that are worth a shit and two that actually work. Um, <laughs> and Croil is one of them. So the method that I'm talking about is uh, it's a derivation of the bigger hammer method. Only in this case, it's the smaller hammer method. And you can do this with a punch, which is what I prefer to use, or a screwdriver. You know, like, I'm not going to use one of my hollow ground screwdrivers, but, you know, I will use this one, which has got the paint on it. Although, I like that one just as much. You know, a punch works better, because it's got a little bit more of a flat surface, and that's kind of what you need for this. So what we're going to do is pretend that your punch is a screwdriver. So we're going to go in right on the right hand side because we're trying to unscrew this thing right oh wow that's got some flex see i didn't plan this video out this is just uh this is impromptu i'm making this for a friend of mine who who cammed out a couple of <laughs> a couple of grub screws set screws on a platen knob and is wondering how in the hell to get those things out without involving a drill um and this is how you do it so you're gonna take your, your punch or your screwdriver, and if you're using a screwdriver, don't put it in there like this. Stick it up on edge, you know? Do whatever you gotta do to get some purchase on there. And if that means taking a fucking Dremel and grinding out a tiny, tiny, tiny little spot so your screwdriver can get purchase on the side of that screw, then that's what you do. But you're probably not gonna have to do that. You know, take your, your punch or your screwdriver, find you a spot where that fucker's gonna grab, and it doesn't have to be at an angle. You don't have to be like this. You can be, well, I say at an angle. I mean, it's gonna be at an angle. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be almost straight down, even. So stick it as far to the outside on the right-hand side 
of your screw as possible. Give it a whack. And hey, fucking looky there. So I gave that one a whack and it was straight across. And now it's like this. I just broke that screw loose. That one had croil on it. Let's try it with this one, which doesn't have croil on it. So, and I mean, this is an adding machine. It's been sitting for 60 years, 50 or 60 years. But it's probably 60 years. So this one's dry. I'm going to, again, I'm going to seat that as far to the right as I can. Make sure it's got good purchase. Got it to move a little bit, so I got to change the angle that I'm at. And looky there. It was like this, now it's like this. So, there you go. That's the trick. And that was taught to me by Mr. Dane Bailey of AAA Typewriter in Birmingham, Alabama. Back when I didn't know a damn thing about typewriters. And I was showing up at his shop about two, three times a week to talk his ear off and bug him silly. And he just sat there watching Bonanza the whole time and barely paid me any attention. But, you know, he gave me my first forming wrench and my first parts machine. Hell of a guy, Mr. Bailey. So I hope that helps somebody. Later.